you've had a fascinating life with so many different reincarnations and I'm sure you've had a lot of challenges along the way. Let's start by going back to the early years and find out what your hopes and dreams were for your life and how that affected the choices you made along the way. I started my life in my city, Alexandria, which I loved a lot. And I studied in Alexandria, and then I went to university. I studied mechanical engineering. I was not fond to be an engineer. I had in my mind ambition to be in business. But my father gave me the advice that uh, if you have an engineer, you probably have a better way of thinking and you have a better way of understanding investment and production. And now I believe he was right. By the time I finished my studies, I had a very big desire to be involved in creation of things. It is something I was very much obsessed about from my day one in business, that I want to be in a business where I could really create value. I could really create a brand, a product. I was not fond of doing something that is only pushing numbers. I didn't care much about the size. I didn't care much about the money in it. But it was more about my ability to say that there is something that did not exist and now it exists because of me. And for that purpose, I went into the business of brands. I started with beverages and food. I had an operation of soft drinks at the time, which was in favor. When I finished my studies, I went for training as a refrigeration mechanical engineer in Denmark in a very isolated place. I worked in a refrigeration company, but I didn't need much because the temperature was minus 20. (laughs) But I had a good exposure and a good experience at the time. Then when I went back to Alexandria, I started in my family business. My father was in the business of shipping and he had a very successful career himself. But I started a completely different line with his support and his guidance, which was more on the area of uh, beverage, foods, and then consumer products. I had the ambition, but the ambition was not any business. The ambition was the creation of something. I still believe from that time when I built the first factory. And during my career in Egypt, I built 17 factories. Factories bringing equipment having, of course, the design, having the process in place, building the buildings, getting machines, and then going through the whole installation period until the moment that you have a product coming, that was the most exciting thing. So do you consider yourself a creative at heart? No, I consider myself a person who likes contribution in a positive way. I like to say that something has been positively created and built because of my contribution. I love beautiful things. I love products which look nice. I like, you know, brands which look attractive. And all my life I've been pursuing that in business.